welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a what's on my iphone video and i don't have the newest phone i literally have the 8 plus um but i'm just gonna show you guys what's on it what apps i use and like how i edit my instagram pictures but like not really it's just like filters so what apps i use basically um but we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna put the screen right next to me so i'm just gonna scoot over so you guys can see that but oh actually before we're gonna move back but before we're gonna show you guys like my actual phone itself um i have the rose gold 8 plus um i you guys have probably already seen this everybody else has like the max and whatever but I still really like this phone. I think it's 64 gigs. It holds a lot of stuff on here. Um, I just really, I really, really like it. It, I mean, it functions. It's not broken. So, I'm kind of blessed, you know? Um, but my phone case is from Amazon. I will link it down below if I remember. Most of the time I don't remember. So, if you guys want it and you don't see the link in the description, definitely let me know. Um, but this is a very good case. Like, it's very protective. It's just a clear case. And in the back of it, I have a picture of me and my boyfriend, um right there i you guys will see i'm like literally obsessed with him so um he's literally like on everything of mine like you'll like i said you'll see um so now i will oh also i printed this out with a polaroid zip printer um that's how i got this picture to be very very small but now we're gonna move over and i'm going to start screen recording my phone so the first thing that you guys see is a uh, the home screen of my phone obviously it's a little collage of pictures that i took of me and my boyfriend that i got printed out um and then you open up my phone and that is what it looks like um the very first page i have just like it's blank it's completely blank and i just moved all of my apps over and the easiest way to do that is to put all of your apps into like folders and then move them to wherever you want them like if you want separate pages and just do it that way because it's just so much easier doing it like that so the first page is blank and it's also a picture of me and my boyfriend because like i said i'm obsessed with him so um there's that and i just made the little collage and i posted that on instagram um so then you swipe over and these are all of my apps that i have i kind of try to contain my apps onto one page so like my phone is like nice and like clean and not like super like overly cluttered so um i did like a technique called shelving i watched a video and i really like their idea i don't remember who it was but if i find it i will definitely link in the description box down below i don't remember who it was or anything but um they did shelving like this with the with the app or with the folder and then like apps next to it so basically this technique is like a folder of like let's say like all social media which is like the first section that you guys see and then next to it are the three most used apps that i use so um we're gonna open up the social media folder and in there i just have snapchat which is oh not to click on that snapchat which is always linked in the description box down below um and then i have flow which is like my period tracker which isn't really social media but i didn't know where else to put it so um let's see so this is just my period tracker um it it works really great i really do trust it um it's a great app it also tells like when you're ovulating and all that so sorry if there's like guys watching this because that's kind of weird but um yeah there's that and then i have bitmoji for my bitmoji on snapchat and then I have Time Hop, which is like, if you guys don't know, it like tracks through like all of your like social media and stuff like that. And for today, like I tweeted, like I have never been so lost in my life until I sit in my problem stats class. Hashtag lost. Literally, that is me to this day, like always. Um, but it just like shows you like through years in the past, like what you did on that day. So there's that. And then I have my Facebook, which I'm not going to go through because it's my personal facebook and then i have spotify if you guys want to follow me on spotify i'll link that start linking that down below um i have a literal playlist for me and chase because why not you know what i mean um but i have like three songs on there because we don't have a very big playlist yet but i have a bunch of playlists on there um like i said i will link this down in the description box down below for you guys um i try to keep it updated but sometimes i don't i also have group me which is for hollister whenever where i work and then i also work at like a different place but we don't use group me and then i use group me for like other things also um and then facebook messenger obviously to like message people on facebook and then i have youtube obviously so this is my youtube channel you guys know you guys know the deal um i'm so close to a thousand subscribers so thank you guys so much tell everyone to subscribe um 
once I hit a thousand subscri subscribers, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway. So spread the word, share this video, do whatever you have to do. Um, and then you swipe over and I have Pinterest, which I think is linked in my description box. I'm not really sure, but this is my Pinterest board. I have a lot of stuff on there. Um, I really love Pinterest. I haven't gotten on there very often recently, but it's on there. Um, I have my Gmail, which is my mail, obviously. And then I have LinkedIn for like college cause I had to make it. Um, and it's just on there. It's like kind of like Facebook, but like a professional Facebook, if you guys don't know what LinkedIn is. And then I have my Instagram. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, I don't post very often anymore because I literally like don't go anywhere to take pictures. But um, like I said, Chase is also on there. He's everywhere. Um, you guys will see. Uh, but there's my Instagram. Follow me. It's down below. Um, and then I have TikTok. And I'm obsessed with TikTok. I have a TikTok now and I started making TikToks. So definitely um, follow me if you guys want. I'm trying to post like every day because I'm trying to get TikTok famous, you know, just like everybody else. So I would really appreciate if you guys followed me and gave me a like on my videos um, because I work pretty hard on them. Um, it takes a really long time to learn TikTok dance. And honestly, props to all the TikTokers out there that can put out like five videos a day because it is very difficult. So um, and then I have my Twitter, which I don't think is linked down below. I mean, you guys can follow me. Um, I'll start linking it down below. I don't really post on there very much anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do, I do post on there sometimes. And then, okay, the next row I have photos and videos. This is how I edit my Instagram pictures and everything. So I have YouTube Studio, which is like where I can like edit my um, captions and stuff to my videos. I have Lightroom, which is what I use to put my filters on my pictures like there's a picture of Baylor that I edited um that I literally just put like a filter on so basically like you just pick a picture let's see from camera roll we'll do we'll do this picture it's literally a picture of me and Chase like in a face mask um and then I go to presets and I bought all these presets for literally like three dollars and you just put a preset on it and that's literally all I do really to my pictures um and then I have airbrush and this is literally one of the best apps like you can like take out like you can blow your skin you can white your teeth you can take away like acne it is literally such a nice app and you can do like a lot of other stuff on there too but i really just do it to like blur my skin out sometimes to make it look a little nicer um and then perfect 365 is also another one of those apps where like you can like make yourself look better basically and then i have my photos my google photos which is like a you really had to scratch right now baylor um google photos which is just like a like a photo hard drive just because my phone like sometimes doesn't have enough storage so it like backs it all up because it'll back it up on a google photos even if i delete them off my phone so that's really nice then i have camera obviously and then the three most used apps um out of that folder is unfold which is how i make my really cute like instagram um stories and you basically just go and you click the little plus button and then I just create so I don't even name it and then you just like pick a template which there's a bunch of them there's like this and like some of them you do have to buy so um I tend to not do those but I the one that I use the most is let's see where even is it like honestly uh do 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 did they take it away I don't know but um yeah like there's just like a bunch of different like templates that you can use and then you click on it and then you click here and then you just like add pictures to it and then you can upload it straight to your story so um it's really useful it makes your instagram look really really cute and like put together and then i also have visco which is always linked down below i love my visco i work very hard on it not gonna like not really but um i do post a lot on there i post like my candid pictures whenever i post my instagram pictures if i have any candids um chase is on there a lot he's everywhere like i said sorry about it you know if you're not obsessed with your boyfriend what are you doing you're dating the wrong person you know what i'm saying um and then i have fonto which is how i make my thumbnails for my videos um and then shopping i have ulta hollister walmart sephora boohoo vinted which i want to start selling my clothes on there so if you guys want to buy some of my clothes definitely um go on to vinted and check it out i'll link it down below once i like start posting stuff on there um and then i have groupon which is a great app if you guys want to save money while going out and doing stuff especially in like touristy areas they do give um discounts on there which is really useful 
and Baylor's just in the back playing with his toy. I'm so sorry. Then I have Chewy, um, which is what I order Baylor's stuff off of. And then I have Amazon because, you know, obviously I'm doing an Amazon favorites video next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, I have the Target app because love Target. And then I have Sheen, 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 whatever, because uh, I'm trying to order some stuff off there so I can do a big video for you guys. Um, and then I have food, which I have Starbucks and the Great American Cookie because I am obsessed with the Great American Cookie. Like, it's actually really kind of bad. Um, so I have, like, the rewards with them, if you guys didn't know. And then I have Chick-fil-A, which love Chick-fil-A. Don't even know why I'm showing you guys. And then Dunkin' Donuts and Domino's. I don't really use those, but, like, out of all of those, I, those are the ones I use. And then Finance. My next row down, I have Resident Portal, which is where I pay for my rent. And then... I have my wallet, which I don't have anything on there. My PayPal, because, you know, PayPal Afterpay, which is a great app. It You, like, spend a bunch of money at, like, one place, and it, like, splits your payments up into four different payments, and you don't have to, um, like, it's, like, interest-free, and you just pay every, like, other week for four weeks, basically, and it's a great time. And then ADP Mobile is, like, where I get paid for Hollister, and then payroll is for my payroll for Peggy Ann's, which is the bakery I work at. And then I have SunTrust, which is my bank. Regions is also my bank. And then I have Venmo, which I send money to my friends. Friends send me money on there. Like, you know, it's a great app for college students. Okay, so then I have the very bottom row, which I only have, like, folders because I didn't want to make, like, separate things. So, in travel, I have maps and then find my friends, um, which obviously, like, it's the obvious things. Like, you guys should know what that is. And then I have games, which I have heads up, which is really great for, like, game nights. And then I have Farmville, which, you guys, if you have ever played Farmville on Facebook, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, there's one for the iPhone and it is so much fun like I am level 18 right now and there is just so much to do on this app it is so much fun let me collect my keys because you know um anyway so farm is really fun if you guys want to play that like it it's been like my game recently and then I have a school folder and in this school folder I have Socratic which if you guys don't know literally if you have to take a test online or something like that you can take a picture of it and it will find the answer online for you instead of you having to type it in so like I don't promote cheating but like it's a nice app to use like it can help you find answers and like you know if you have a question yourself you can ask then I have Outlook which is like my school email and then Handshake which is like a like a job like a professional job binding app that is along with my school but I think anybody can do Handshake like it finds you like internships and stuff like that so it's really useful Zoom which I've been having to use for school because everything's online now because of COVID-19 so it's a great time then I have Google Drive, which has, like, my, like, information in there, um, like, my work and stuff that I save in there, and then Google, and then Google Slides, um, because I had to make a presentation on there, and then Slack, which is, like, GroupMe, but, like, a professional GroupMe, because I use it for school, and then I have Google Docs, and then in other, I just have, like, the basic apps, like, App Store, Amazon Alexa, which I have one. I don't know if she's plugged in. I don't think so, but I have one, so I have that app to control her. And then I have the weather channel. I have notes, um, the calendar, health, settings, calculator, watch, um, activities not even met, like downloaded anymore. I have the clock, which can we just take a moment and look at how many alarms I've ever set? Like I don't ever delete my alarms and there's just so many. Um, and then contacts, shortcuts, fire TV, Polaroid zip, which is my zip printer. That's how I printed this picture. And then Amazon Photos, which is another, like, photo backup storage thing because I just really like for my pictures to be where, like, in a bunch of different places just in case if I do lose everything. So, yeah. Then I have Safari at the bottom, Messages, which I don't have 128 messages. Well, I do, like, unread, but they're probably, like, from shopping places that I've, like, signed up for. And I regret my decisions because they text me all the time. And then I have phone and then FaceTime. So that is pretty much my phone. It was kind of boring. Sorry um, that it was boring. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Uh, if you guys want a video on how I actually edit my pictures, I can do that. And yeah so that's basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys next week in my amazon favorites video and i might film that today so if you guys see me in the same outfit don't mind me <laughs> but i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one bye